Hello everyone, today we're gonna review episode 3 of the Great Northern Chesapeake Escapes. Without further ado, let's get rolling. Story So, the story on this is really interesting. These two engines are escaping from the old railroad, and then these two are trying for a look at them. And then they get found in the yards, and then the controller is like, Do you know what? I kinda like these two engines. I'm gonna buy them. Uh, it's kind of a rush, but uh, I like it. I give a story a 5 out of 10. Plot. So the plot was really interesting at the start. It was like, oh, we gotta run away from this railroad because we're trying to kill them. They're trying to kill us. And then it abruptly stops. I don't really like it, so I give it a 4 out of 10 for plot. Originality. So it's kind of like it's gave to the point it's like you can argue it's a copy, except that these two engines come on the free will. No, someone like a, a different engine brings them to the railroad. But apart from that, it's the same. Like down to the wire. So originally, I give it a 5 out of 10. Pros. So, the pros here, you introduce two new engines to the series. Well, maybe four if you count those stupid diesels, but I don't give a fuck about that. But yeah, uh, it's good, but doesn't bring much to the table. Cons. So, I have a bunch of cons on this episode. Mainly being the story itself. I mean, it's interesting, but at the same time, it doesn't make sense. Like, oh, we're escaping, and then, oh, we're safe. Like... Hello, Ten like something, like c can we just like uh, like ask why this engine's like? Oh, I found these two engines. That's it, it's, dude. I do not worry of these two engines being I don't know fucking terrorists or something like that. Also, can we just talk about the control of Tiana? Why would you want to scrap a British engine? Like I'm just not saying this because I'm a rail fan. I'm asking you legit, like. This is a British type locomotive that you don't find in our in freaking USA, and you want to scrap it. Like, do you want to lose money? Because that's how you lose money. Tiana, I think, is the only engine on the USA that's still running. Like, and it doesn't. And also, we can argue that she's not Americanized, but we don't talk about Bruno. And I think that's it about cons. Except these two nuggets not found in a fucking s purple skittle on the railroad, but oh well. By the end of the day, I give this episode an astounding 6.5 out of 10. Now, don't get me wrong. I like this episode. But I think it's really bad structure. Like, another episode from Trains Got This really, but I do mean really bad structure, is this episode. Like, the, mainly the character of Dexter. We only get like two minutes of him as a character. And I think that's really bad. But I like the episode. If you just wanted to see it, it's really nice. And I recommend you go and watch it. Go subscribe to Trainscout4468 and I will see you all on the other side. Goodbye.